ChatGPT search is gunning for Google search. Let's see if it's any good. I'm gonna take a first look at OpenAI's ChatGPT search and see what kind of results it serves up. ChatGPT search is currently only available for ChatGPT Plus subscribers for $20 a month, ChatGPT team users, and SearchGPT waitlist users, although the waitlist for SearchGPT is now closed. ChatGPT search will be rolling out to all users for free in the coming months. So since I'm a ChatGPT Plus subscriber, when I log into ChatGPT and I'm using ChatGPT 4.0, I now see a small globe icon in the message ChatGPT field. When you hover over it, you will see search the web. You must click on the globe icon to enable ChatGPT search. Click on it and a list of trending topics will appear. I see information about the 2024 US election and some celebrity news, including the death of the legendary music producer, Quincy Jones. So I'm a big fan of Quincy Jones. So I'm gonna ask what was Quincy Jones's most famous song? And here are the results. ChatGPT will then answer in natural language and it says that Michael Jackson's song Thriller, which is the title track to the album, was the biggest selling album in history. It also mentions that another one of Quincy Jones's productions, Soul Bossa Nova, has gained widespread recognition. As you can see from ChatGPT's answer, it adds a clickable link to his Wikipedia page and YouTube music if you wanna hear a playlist of Quincy Jones music. Unfortunately, I can't play that for y'all because we'll get flagged, but it's nice to have a direct link to hear some of his most famous work. Below ChatGPT's answer is a small window that says sources. Click on it and you'll see a list of links with citations and news about Quincy Jones, including the Wall Street Journal, Vanity Fair, and Pitchfork, or any news outlet that reported on the death of the prolific producer. Let's try another search. I'm taking my family to Monterey for the weekend, so let's see if ChatGPT has any good suggestions for what we should do while we're there. So I'm gonna click on the ChatGPT search icon and ask it, let's see what it comes up with. So it did provide some images. The first thing it says is the Monterey Bay Aquarium and it has a link with tips with little tykes, but my kids are 10 and 12, so they're not little tykes, but that's helpful. Um, we are gonna go there. We are gonna go to Cannery Row probably. The Monterey Bay Coastal Recreation Trail, whale watching tours, probably won't do that. Fisherman's Wharf, Dennis the Menace Park. Ooh, that sounds kind of fun. My kids might like that. The Monarch Butterfly Sanctuary and the 17 mile drive through Pebble Beach. Ooh, I'm a big golfer, so I'd love to drive through Pebble Beach. That would be amazing. Now, if I look at sources, it puts sources in the right rail and it has tips for tykes. And it's all the sources that were included in each of those little answers it gave me. So that's pretty cool. And then it has some pictures. If I click on the photo. So yeah, this is kind of helpful. I did hear that there was a Haunted Mansion tour in Monterey, so I'm gonna ask it about that. Yes, Monterey offers several haunted tours that delve into its rich and eerie history. The Cannery Row Ghost Tours, Monterey Ghost Walking Tour by the US Ghost Adventures, and the Haunt Ghost Tours. So I might check some of those out just because, you know, it might be fun to check out some haunted mansions in Monterey, why not? So if I click on this link here, it'll take me to the website for the Haunted Ghost Tour. It's past Halloween, but still, it might be fun to go. ChatGPT also has a Chrome extension to switch your default search to ChatGPT. You'll see the option to get the extension near the bottom of the page. So I'll quickly walk you through getting the extension and setting it up. So I'm just gonna simply go down here and click Get Extension. And here's the extension, it has an overview, some information, some reviews. So I'm just gonna click add to Chrome, add extension, and bam, there it is right there. So I'm gonna test it out real quick and just open a new tab in Google Chrome and just ask it about CNET. Tell me about CNET.com. And bam, it goes straight to ChatGPT Plus and then it tells me all about CNET.com. So if you want your search engine to be ChatGPT, this is pretty awesome. This extension just works automatically. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to click on it and then start a search. It'll just open a new tab and it's ChatGPT. 
How cool is that? So when I did my first search, it said change back to Google search. Chrome does not want me to use ChatGPT search. Then it gives you the option to change it back or keep it. I'm gonna keep it for now. I'm gonna try one more. Tell me about Pebble Beach and how can I drive through Pebble Beach? It's serving me up pictures and it's telling me all about Pebble Beach. And it's saying, please note that the 17 mile drive is a two lane road allowing travel in both directions. And it's advisable to allocate at least a few hours to fully appreciate the scenic beauty and attractions along the route. So it's giving me a little advice on how much time I need to take and the size of the road. So that's all kind of helpful stuff. We're gonna check it out. Well, that's how to use OpenAI's new ChatGPT search which is a direct competitor to Google's Gemini search engine. Let me know in the comments what your go-to AI search engine is and subscribe to CNET's massive YouTube channel for more AI news. Thanks for watching.